Spotlight. There were bits and pieces of Pepper Pear in there, yes. There were bits and pieces of all of us in there. It may be Gina Davis, Lori Petty, and Madonna playing ball on screen, but the story of a league of their own really belongs to women like Pepper Davis, Shirley Berkovich, Maybelle Blair, and Helen Von Saint. Oh, I miss it. I miss it. Oh, it was wonderful. It brought a lot of, bad, a lot of good memories. The women who inspired director Penny Marshall's baseball movie were gathered in Los Angeles recently to relive the memories of their days as America's first women professional baseball players. They were players who broke ground as athletes in a time when war was only a telegram away. My telegram told me that, uh, that my brother's plane was down and he was missing in action. And my fiance was also on the same plane. Um, three weeks later, we found out my brother was okay, but my fiance had been killed. Ken Sells was on the management staff of the Chicago Cubs in 1943 when baseball's owners thought the war might interrupt America's favorite pastime. He remembers his marching orders. We can't uh, handle this with the ballpark being empty. So find something to put in it. Those words pulled women together from cities, farms, and ballparks across the country. They played baseball for 11 seasons from 1943 until 1954. Some four decades later, they can still play ball. Oh yeah, we can still hit, we can still throw, it's, it's still fun. And maybe still wonder why no one has taken their places after all this time. I would hate to think that we're a dying breed. And, and you know, we are getting older, all of us now, and if, if it doesn't start soon, uh, I'm afraid it'll just be gone, forgotten. Gone, perhaps, but not forgotten, as a league of their own opened a strong third at the nation's box office last weekend, seen by millions of viewers.